I just thought I'd make a quick video here. Uh, I thought it was uh, fairly interesting. Um, I've, I've been playing with this in the past and uh, I, I got some better results in the last couple days. I don't know if you can see this here. I was um, making uh, some magnetite and it, it started off, I, I was making some iron chloride. This is two different batches here. This one here I, I made um, just by soaking hydrochloric acid or soaking um, basically this uh, iron wire in hydrochloric acid and then later I found it was easier to make a make this uh, iron chloride by taking um, any source of iron oxide and dumping it in in the hydrochloric acid and I could make uh, the iron chloride instantly but um, you notice I don't know if it's a concentration difference or if the color is different it seems to be a more orange color now they're both uh, iron 3 chloride based on the color and if I just soak uh, the iron wire in there for a little while you know, it takes maybe six hours eight hours they turn green so and you can see with that one there's a couple of them there you get that green color pretty quick so anyway before I had tried this um, the stoichiometry is about, uh, I believe it's two parts um, iron 3 to uh, one part iron 2 chloride and you mix those together with eight parts um, sodium hydroxide or I think potassium hydroxide works well but I'd never get a very good um, uh, magnetite. Actually, I think I got a, a batch here that I, I did that way. And you can see here, you get I get some rust on the top. It it doesn't. I don't know if you can see on there. You get a little bit of magnetism in there, but I never got very good results. And then just. Uh, playing around for some reason I tried well I was thinking I was thinking about Dan's video yesterday and um, thinking about the, some of the comments I made and thinking about uh, his battery and I wanted to play around with s some more of the um, iron oxides so I thought I'd just try making making different iron oxides. So this is what I did. I just tried pouring in some of the um, sodium hydroxide straight into straight into the iron 3 oxide or iron 3 chloride. Hmm. I guess I'm getting a different result here. Looks like I already have some iron 2 chloride in this one. What I had done is um, I made sure I had iron uh, iron three chloride by putting in a bit of um, hydrogen peroxide, which I've misplaced at the moment. So let me do that over. Okay, my camera had to crash. I don't know if my other video worked out. But I just noticed I didn't have to mix the iron 2 and 3. Looks like my iron oxide, or sorry, my iron chloride was already a, a mix of iron 2 and 3 ions. So just adding the potassium hydroxide, I got a good uh, magnetite. But this is what I did yesterday. Is I, well, I already added some, a little tiny bit more. I uh, I first made a 
a, a different iron oxide first. Put that in there. One more. Tiny bit more. Shoot. And it looks like I don't have enough of my sodium hydroxide mix. Got a little bit more sodium hydroxide mix. And I notice here, focus. I get a red, deep red, but a red iron three oxide. See that red color? Now, that reaction heats up a lot. <clears throat> so, after I had that reaction, I let that sit, and uh, from this camera angle, you can hardly see the difference in color. This one is quite jet black, and it's already settling out. There we go, you can see in the light there, settling out. This one maybe in the light, you can see, uh, not very well, but it's, it's a pretty deep red iron three oxide. Oh, maybe with a spoon there, you can see that deep red color. I was gonna play around with that a bit, but and I just out of curiosity, I'm not gonna let that cool down. I decided to add that other, I would add my iron two chloride, add that other one third, about that, eyeballing it again, mix it together, and as you see, it dissolves it. So you still have the residual acidity, but <clears throat> if I check with the pH, the acidity should be down considerably. Now, I'm um, actually also rethinking everything that I had double checked. Well, the city is still 0 0.7, 0 .0, 0 0.4. Anyway, highly acidic, but takes considerably less. As you can see, I just dripping in a tiny bit more of the sodium hydroxide. Mix that in. And now, look at this. We got our jet black magnetite. The quality of this magnetite turned out to be really good, so. Anyway, that's all I wanted to record here. Just a, something fun I was playing with. I have some other things I wanted to play around with the magnetite. So anyway, I guess that's it.